A denial code when it comes to medical billing is key in understanding why a claim cannot be processed by the insurer. Common reasons for denial codes in the healthcare system include missing information, duplicate claim or service, and a service already adjudicated among others. Now when it comes to denial codes, understanding the most common types is only half the battle. Let's go over ways you can prevent receiving denials in the first place. Hi everyone, I'm Matt from eTactics and today I'm going to give you three tips to avoid claim denials. Before we get started though, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button below. While you're down there, hit that alert bell icon next to it as well so when we post new helpful content, you get notified. First and foremost, your organization's efficiency is only as good as your staff. So if your team doesn't understand what to look out for when it comes to some of the most common denials, you're still going to experience them at a very high rate. Let's go over an example based on the denial code CO18. Now part of decreasing the rate of CO18 denials involves utilizing modifier 7 and 59 depending on the number of lines on the claim itself. Understanding that level of detail on one specific type of denial only happens through educating your team. Continued education and training will help your team stay up to date in the unprecedented environment that is modern day medical billing. Next, let's talk about the use of clearinghouses. Based on how technologically driven the healthcare industry is as a whole, it's likely that you have a clearinghouse partner. That's how we got into business after all here at eTactics. The ultimate goal of a clearinghouse is to act as a central point of your claim submission process. It should also help you manage your denied claims in general. But what separates any run-of-the-mill clearinghouse partner from a great one is the additional claim services involved. One of the most valuable features that you should look for in your clearinghouse partner is claim scrubbing. Claim scrubbing allows you to ensure that there aren't any errors in your claims before you submit them to an insurance payer. Since clearinghouses deal with millions of claims and payer connections, they should be an expert in all submission requirements. In other words, they save you time and money with this feature. Last, let's talk about one of the worst mistakes a healthcare organization can make when it comes to claim denial prevention. If an organization has high denial rates and does not have an eligibility process in place, they aren't doing themselves any favors. Eligibility is the process of checking with an insurance payer that the services rendered on a patient are within the scope of their insurance plan. What does that even mean? Well, this is because unfortunately insurance organizations don't cover every procedure for all their patients. Taking preemptive steps to lower the likelihood of receiving high rates of claim denials can look like many different things. What I discussed today were just a few of our favorite strategies. Having been in the clearinghouse business for over a few decades now, we like to think we know about what the do's and don'ts are when it comes to claim processing. And we want you to be familiar with them as well. If you'd like to learn more about how to avoid claim denials, reach out to eTactics. And you already made it this far into the video, so you might as well like it, share it, and comment below.